Right, so last week, if you remember, me and Mrs G stayed in our very own service accommodation unit just to do a bit of snagging. If you haven't seen that video, check it out, it's on my YouTube channel. But a lot of people asking me about the numbers. How much have we actually made on this project? So I'm gonna go back over there now and I'm gonna tell you. Right. Things you get when you come in here is the smell of new. It smells really nice. Everything's fresh. You can smell the carpets and the paint. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my shoes off. Then I'm going to give you a quick walk around. I know you've already seen it. I'm going to show you again in case you haven't. And then we'll do the numbers. Okay, right, let's do the walkthrough if you haven't already seen it. So, first things first, entrance hall. Coming into the kitchen. Beautifully appointed kitchen. All the things you'd expect from a serviced accommodation. We've got a small dishwasher here. Microwave. Huge American fridge with ice machine. And in the back here, we've got the dog wash. Oh yes. So we've got a big dog wash sink there and the utility area where the washing machine and the tumble dryer is going to go. So let's walk through into the living room if you haven't already seen it. So into the living room. And again, it's just stunning. I can't, I can't begin to tell you how excited I keep getting every time I walk in here. I honestly would live here. I think it's beautiful. So this is the living room. This goes into a little cloakroom in the back. So a little cloakroom here. In case you get caught short. Let's go upstairs. Now it hasn't been cleaned because me and Mrs G, there's a song there somewhere, stayed here on Friday night just to test it out because we didn't know if there's going to be any snagging or any issues. So it's not been cleaned yet. So let's go up. Three bedrooms. Now when we bought the property, it just had one bathroom. Didn't have any showers at all. So what we've done is we've turned this area, which was just a, an airing cupboard, we've turned it into a shower. We put this door across here, which wasn't there before. And then we've just made the bathroom look a lot nicer and a lot cleaner. So that's the bathroom. Then we've got this room here, double room, massive bed, and we put an ensuite in. So we've taken up quite a lot of space from this room, but we put a nice ensuite in. So we've now got two showers and one bath. And one, two, three toilets. Much, much better. Right, out of this room, into this room. They're all doubles. So what we've tried to achieve here is three double rooms that um, contractors could stay. So you've got, you know, um, three people with nice big beds or even three families. So this room here, beautiful room again, massive double room. And then we've got the third room, which is this one here. So they're all doubles and all really, really nice. If I could like, it's just, it's just the, the smell here is just so clean and fresh. Everything just smells really nice. I'm gonna turn the lights off as I go. Right, let's go downstairs. Let's do some numbers. Okay, let's do the numbers. Now I have written it down because there's a lot to go through on this. And I think it's fair to say as well that some of the numbers are guesswork because we've not rented the property out yet but we kind of know what we're doing we've got about another four or five of these in this local area but none of which are as good as this one because this is just super high standard so let's cut to the chase how did we get the property well first of all we sourced it from right move it was on with a local agent we've got a really good reputation with this local agent because we bought property with them before and it was on the market for £188,000. So we came to view it and I just knew straight away that this was the right property for us. It just felt right. And sometimes you get that feeling. And for those of you that invest in property, you'll know what I mean. So I just offered on the spot. I said, I don't need to go and think about it. We'll buy it. But they said, sadly, there's somebody else interested. And I said, well, look, we can buy cash. And I mean real cash, not bridging finance or anything, so we can move really quickly. So we did a deal based on completing in four weeks. And we'd never completed on a deal in four weeks before. But we did it. 
and we got the deal. So we completed in four weeks, we got the property, so we paid £188,000 for it. The stamp duty was £5,640, which was a total of £194,640 with a £1,000 legal cost on top. So that's how much it cost me in real money. Now, not only that, we had a budget of 50, 50, 50,000 pounds because we knew that if we'd only spent 50,000 pounds on it, then the deal worked and it was a good deal. But we went over that. So we actually spent 80,000 pounds on this property. Why? Lots of different reasons. We went over, uh, the job ran on for a little bit, a little bit longer than we thought it was going to. And we wanted a really high end finish. For example, the fire was £3,800. Um, you know, all of the furniture that we decided to do cost us more. We decided to change all the external doors. We didn't budget for that to begin with. And some of the windows that needed replacing because they started to fall apart. So we actually spent £80,000 on the project. So total of my own money, cash from the bank, £274,640. That's how much it cost us. But... We had a mortgage offer last week of 370,000. So we bought it for 188 and it's now been valued for the mortgage purpose of 370,000 pounds. Now that's 75% loan to value. That means we can borrow 75% of that because we need to keep 25% in equity in the property. But there's also a stress test when it comes to lending property and we can only borrow a maximum of £250,000 from this mortgage company. So whilst it's been valued at 370 and we've got a 75% loan to value, the stress test stops at 250. So we can only get £250,000 back from this property. So let's go through the numbers. Initial investment, 274640 Okay, that means with the £250,000 they're prepared to lend us, we're going to leave £24,640 in the deal. So to do this, and to do it to a high standard, and to buy it, has cost us £24,640. But we'll get that back in the first year from the rent. So that means after the first year, this house has not cost us anything to buy after the first 12 months yes we had to put the money down in the beginning but that means we've got all of our money back out at the end now it does mean that we're mortgaged but that's okay they're washing the windows behind me look you can see because it's all go here this is real i'm on site can you see them washing the windows so it means that in the first year we'll have all of our money back which means it's an infinite return on investment now how good is that yes we're going to have a mortgage but the mortgage will be paid down in 20, 25 years, which means that if the property goes up and if it doubles in value in that time as well, then we're going to make profit of however much the property is worth then. But if it doubles in value of today's price, we'll make 370 grand and we've got the house and we've paid the mortgage off. So leverage isn't a bad thing, provided you're making more profit than you're paying to the bank, then it's got to be a good thing because it means you can scale and it means you can do momentum investing and that's what this is called it's called momentum investing so what are the numbers in terms of profit how much we're we going to rent it for uh, we're going to use this as an airbnb or serviced accommodation as we call it in the industry we think we can get about 250 pound a night because it's three bedrooms it sleeps it sleeps six people comfortably it's in a brilliant area we've got pubs we've got restaurants we've got walks there's parking it just ticks all of the boxes so £250 a night. Now, I've got my numbers here, look. If we can get 70% occupancy, 250 times 365 nights at 70% will mean that the property will gross £63,875 a year gross. Now, we've got some bills to pay out of that. So the mortgage is going to be about £1,300 a month, interest-only mortgage, okay? So it's £1,300 a month. That's £15,600 a year. Utilities are going to be about £500 a month. That's six grand a year. Cleaning. This is a bit difficult because it depends on how occupied we are. But I think it's going to be about £800 a month. It might go up the more occupied we become. That's going to be £9,600 a year. Repairs and maintenance. 
We've done it to the best standard. There really shouldn't be that much to go wrong. So I budgeted £200 a month, but we will have to monitor that. I think that's more than enough. That's £2,400 a year. Now, in total, £33,600 a year in expenses, minus the £63,875 we are going to take gross in rent, will give us a profit before tax of £30,275 a year, 30 grand a year. Now, let's go back. Property is going to make 30 grand a year before tax. It hasn't cost us anything to buy at the end because we've had all of our money back out. What other investments can you get that will do that? Now, before everybody jumps in and says, yeah, but it's interest only. Yes, it's an interest only mortgage. But if the property doubles in value in the next 20 years time or something like that, we'll have more than enough to pay off the original mortgage and several hundred thousand pounds on top. Not bad going, right? So... It's an infinite return on investment. Now, if we can get 80% occupancy, which I think might be possible here, then those numbers shoot up to £39,400 a year in profit before tax. Let's talk about tax. So it, it's important to say that serviced accommodation is a service. And when you reach the VAT threshold, you will be charged VAT. Now, there is something called the Tor Operators Scheme or TOMS that's quite complicated. I'll do another video on that because there's a bit of a gray area. Do we still have it? Don't we still have it? But let's just ignore that for the time being. So we might have to pay VAT once we reach the threshold. There's no, no issues about that at the moment. We're not going to be near the threshold here at 39 grand a year, not yet. And of course, we do have to pay tax. Now this property is in a limited company and because we're only trading at 39, 40 grand a year, in profit, we only need to pay 19% corporation tax. So we do have to pay corporation tax out of that. So it's obviously not all profit, but still an infinite return on investment. That's how we do things, folks. This is called momentum investing. So that initial pot of money we can now use on the next deal and one after that and one after that and one after that, etc. Now, if you want to do it and you want to go on a repayment mortgage, of course, you still have the option to do that. That will reduce your profits. So do make sure that you um, know your numbers and it's going to be worth your while because if you're doing it for free, there's no point in doing it unless you're just relying on capital growth. So those are the numbers, folks. Highlight numbers, all money back out in the first year. We've got a profit of £30,000 a year before tax at 70% occupancy and then at 80% occupancy that will jump up to 39400 So there you have it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy my videos. If you do, give me a like, give me a follow, and please do comment because it really does help the algorithm. And I'll see you on the next one.